Hey what's going on guys this is Sayyad Musa Kaleem from Epicop and I am back with another video and if you are new here make sure to subscribe my channel to stay tuned with my latest videos about Ionic and Angular and more about JavaScript. So in this video I am going to discuss uh, about Cloud Firestore which is a new database that has been designed by Firebase team and this is actually a flexible scalable NoSQL database that allows you to store data in the form of collections and documents so let me tell you about this new database that is Cloud Firestore from Firebase actually the two major components of this Firestore database are documents and collections so if you have worked with MongoDB or some database like that then you must have come across with the term and that is document and document is a collection of key value pairs and it allows you to store data in the value in the form of key value pairs so it's, it's it's small and scalable and it allows you to store data in the form of uh, collection in the form of uh, key value pairs and the next word uh, the n another term of this database firestore is collections collections is just simple uh, meaning of the collections is it's a collection of documents right if you have 10 documents similar kind of documents then you can uh, collect that documents in one collection so it's a group of similar kind of documents so this is all about the cloud firestore and also I'm gonna show you how to integrate the cloud firestore in ionic and angular project easily and for this I'm going to use one beautiful website that is Stackbliss to create a small project because I'm using it for test purpose you can use it easily without installing any modules on your local machine so you can do it easily it's an online IDE for web applications powered by VS Code so this is the documentation you can refer this documentation to know more about Cloud Firestore and this is currently in beta release but you can use it in production and the development mode as well so let's get started so all we need to do is we need to create a new ionic project you can uh, you can uh, create react application as well or angular application as well but I am using I am integrating Cloud Firestore in ionic project so you need to click this button to create a new Ionic project on Stack Bliss. It's an online IDE, and if you don't know about Stack Bliss, then make sure to watch my previous tutorial about Stack Bliss. I'll link that video in my video. So in this video, so you can watch it, uh, and it is bundling our app, right? All we need to do is we need to install the dependency. So we have to head over to the documentation when you scroll down then you can see uh, the dependency modules let me check getting started right when you click getting get started what happened it is not working for web right for web we are creating right when you scroll down you need to use you need to follow these instructions we need to head over to the uh, firebase console to create our new uh, project you can see here add firebase to a javascript project we need to uh, uh, head over to the firebase dashboard we need to create a new application so here I'll create our new application bismillah ybm is my new project new firebase project when I click create project it creates a new project with unique ID so when you scroll down then you can see we need to add this config object inside app.module.ts so for this we need to install the dependency right we are not uh, developing this application on our local machine so we need to install the dependency on stack Bliss. if you are developing this application on your local machine then you need to install the node module and for this we have a command and this command can be found on this right you can see here npm install g firebase not this tools you need to type i dash dash safe 
this this is a similar kind of uh, node module command you can which you can run on your local machine to install the firebase module so i'll just type in the name of this uh, module dependency so i'll click i'll hit enter firebase enter it installs the dependency of firebase in our ionic project till then i'll head over to the firebase dashboard and i'll continue with this and you can see here if you want to add your firebase configuration object to your web app then you need to select this option this will actually give you the config object so we need to copy this and head over to the app.module.ts file and copy, uh, paste this uh, code so for this we need to import the firebase Oh yeah, Firebase. Not this one. We need to remove this uh, single quotations. Firebase, right? So this is the import statement of Firebase, which you need to use to import the Firebase in your Ionic project. So paste this code. Paste the Firebase object configuration object code inside app.module.ts file you are done with this then the next thing which you need to do in your ionic project is you need to head over to the home.ts file to actually get started with the integration of firebase with ionic application so head over to the close this dependency drop down head over to the pages and home.ts file right here we need to import the firebase and firestore both statements firebase slash firestore right so these two things which we need inside our ionic project so let's dive into the constructor part and let's say let db equals to db equals to firebase dot firestore what I'm what I'm doing here is I'm just creating the, an instance of firebase right so now I'm gonna create a collection as I said as I said earlier that firestore is a uh, database which has two major components collections and documents so collections is a set of documents and documents is actually your uh, data right all your data all your application data will get saved inside the documentation in, inside the document in the form of key value pair so I'm gonna give the name of this collection as persons and I would like to add a new document and let me tell you one thing here that this add method allows only JSON object and this add method actually saves your document this is your documentation document part inside your collection and it only allows JSON object so the thing which we are giving in the form of key value pair will get saved inside your document so I'm gonna give first name as Muhammad and the next name and the last name as Mehdi Muhammad Mehdi right so this is our document inside the collection persons right and I'm gonna say then data what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna console.log this data so that we can see the data right data and if we get any errors then we can catch it using this catch statement right console.log the error statement right so this is just a simple 
application which we are using for test purpose to see the Firestore database in Firebase. So we are done with this. All we need to do is we need to head over to the uh, database part inside Firebase dashboard and if you are using it for first time then you can select the database right real-time database is a database is a old database which may get duplicated in future and this cloud firestore is a new database which which will come in right so try firestore beta and try firestore beta so we need to use it for test mode so we need to select this option and we need to enable this file store right this may take some time so no need to worry so we are done with this and if you head over to this documentation then you can see the step-by-step -step instruction and the guide so that you can follow and create your own ionic or angular project and you can integrate firestore easily so it is taking some time so let's save it let's save the home.ts file let's save the home.ts file let's save it and let's also open the console of this project right inside this inside the console.log statement it is giving me some error in turbo module so I was getting the issue the turbo module issue because I have not imported this statement so my bad I, I forgot to import this statement so I was getting that issue anyhow I have uh, imported this statement from the app.model.ts file this statement import statement in home.ts file so we need to import these two statements so remember this point don't get confused import these two statements to make your firestore work so we are getting the console log uh, statement here our application works fine now if when we uh, make it when we make the console large we can see the firestore object with the ID with the unique ID let me show you the ID right so this is the object firestore client right we can see here the database ID you have you can see here the database ID the uh, the firebase project ID here the database is default so our details the document and the collection has been saved to the database so let's head over to the uh, firebase dashboard and you can see here the person's collection with an with a document of unique ID then first name is Muhammad and the last name is Mehdi so you can see here and this is the random ID generated by Firebase uh, Firestore if you want to uh, use your custom ID for your document then you can do it easily let me show you how you can do that head over to the uh, home.ts file and let's use uh, doc right right and inside this doc you can specify your document name custom document name first person and you need to use set method right so put dot here so this is the method which you can do it to use your custom document name I have collection with the name persons and I want the document as first person and I want to set the first name and last name in the document and let's save it and let's see the preview inside the browser not in the browser not uh, uh, let's see the preview inside the Firebase console right it is refreshing right let's head over to the yeah you can see here first person with the name Muhammad and Mehdi then if you want to update this names this document then you need to use the update method instead of using set method update right let's use Sayyid Muhammad and Sayyid Muhammad Mehdi so we have two 
objects key value pairs inside our document let's save it and let's refresh the application on Stackbliss you're seeing the beauty of Stackbliss right it feels like you're working on Visual Studio Code and it is very easy to debug the errors right you can see here the Sayyid Muhammad and Sayyid Muhammad Mehdi has been appeared inside the document first person so we have a collection with the name persons and we have two documents first person and the next one is with a unique ID so hope you understand about the cloud store and hope you enjoy this video and I, I would like to thank you for watching this video make sure to subscribe my channel to stay up to date with the latest videos on Epicop so thanks for watching this video keep sharing this video and I'll see you in the next video.